week, another spirit talk. I wanted to talk a little bit about shifting, energy shifting, because this week we are going to be doing a lot of shifting. The cosmos is shifting. Our energy is shifting. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about how that affects you and also to how you can work with the energy. So as we move through this week, you know, we had that new moon last week. So the moon is growing. So is our energy, right? But the days are starting to get shorter. Have you noticed? And as we move through this week, we move out of the Leo sun sign into Virgo. Virgo is an earth sign. It's a very big service sign. It helps us to ground. First, we had all that water and the emotions. We went through all that fire. And now we're going to just like ground. Ground before we do switch into a new season. We also have a lot of planets in retrograde. We really do. Of course, we all know Mercury retrograde. So that we've already kind of been in the shadow. We'll come into that this week. We have other planets going retrograde. Venus has been retrograde. Venus is going to move out in a little bit with Mars too, but we have Uranus, we have Pluto. We have so many planets in retrograde. So what does that mean for you? It really means take a moment, reflect, review, redo, so that you can shift the energy that really isn't serving you, right? That's exactly what shifting of energy is. Transmutation, I also call it. Well, we transmute from one form to another. So when we shift our energy like we are moving through right now, it does require us to get still, to get quiet. Ask the questions. What can I shift out of? What can I let go of? I'm working with my program this summer, Shape Shifting, and we're talking about shifting our shape, our body, mind, spirit. Same idea. What are those old beliefs that have been growing, summer's the season of growing all summer, that is now time to weed out and let go? That's really the focus of what we're going to move through as you move through the rest of this month and into September, which comes into the equinox about the middle of the month of September. So we're moving out of that last part of summer. Our energy is shifting. Many of us are feeling maybe tired, worn out. I know this week where I am, so much heat, the weather all over the country, the fires, the smoke, everything has been really intense. It is a reflection of what's going on inside of us and our culture. You know, this week on the Empowered Spirit Show, I talked to uh, Jinwa Telendru, and she had a great new book out. She's written a lot. The Ninefold Path of Avalon. And in it, we talked about how, you know, the culture is a reflection of where we are. It's a reflection inside and out. How sovereignty, service to self, service to community, service to the divine is the way to shift out of the old ways. Taking time for you, mothering you. Even men need mothering of themselves. These are the ways in which you can shift. So as you move through this week, we're going to look at the cards. But as you move through this week, ask yourself, how can I slow down? even just a few minutes each day and ask yourself these questions. Also a good idea to clean up clutter, let it go. I'm a big paper clutterer, so I have to throw away papers, clean up, refresh your space, use your sacred tools as you do. Put a little essential oils in your water, use a little sage around your house, move and shift around your crystals. Notice how the energy will feel for you. So let's look at the cards for the week. Before we begin, just take a deep inhale. And exhale, call all your energy into you. Call it in from the week. Inhale, call in your spirit. Feel the alignment of your spirit right on top of the physical body. Take another deep breath, just dropping deep into the heart, right in the very center. Feel that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved, feeling all this energy coming in around you. Taking a moment. Feeling into the intentions in your heart. How can you shape shift? What are the cards coming forward for us this week? First is the Hierophant. This is about going within, knowing the keys. These keys are right here. They're not over there. Pull them into you. You hold the keys. You have the power. It does indicate getting some spiritual coaching, getting some spiritual counseling, going deep within you, but knowing that that power is definitely within you. How can you shift out of being out there, looking for the keys out there and bringing that energy in for you? So it's a good way to look at it. Are you avoiding your spiritual practice? Are you avoiding what's going on for you? Strength. All right. So as we come out of this Leo energy, take the courage of the lion. 
and ask yourself, you know, where am I holding back? You know, we're going to move into fall. Fall is abundance and harvest. So what are you growing? What's the strength of your courage to step forward? I know I've been asking that question for me a little bit. Where can I step into a bigger picture of who I am? Where can you use that courage that you got and brought in through Leo energy, through the lion, through your heart, through the wild woman of summer and bring it forward into the new season, infinite potential coming in with all the growth that is coming forward. The magician, look at all these major cards. You are the creator of your life. You get to manifest what you want to bring in. So bring it in from the higher realms, bring it through the chakra system, opening it up and bring it out into the physical world. Requires you to bring all the energy through that radiance within you all the way through that first chakra. You have the tools, they're on your table, reach up infinite potential again we see this card so as you shift the energy out of the old pull the weeds up imagine each weed each cord that doesn't serve you each thought that hasn't worked for you imagine as you pull it up you're manifesting something new making space for all the growth and all the harvesting you'll be doing very soon shift out of the old bring your power into the present and one last card is the four fire. All right. So you know what? As we come around to the end of this month, we always have Labor Day, new party, time to celebrate, all the work we've been doing. This is about balance for. It's also about setting the stage. And I think this is a really good way to think about like clean up your house, clean up all that decluttering we were talking about. Let go of the old energy so that you can celebrate what your summer has been about and really work to bring that fire, that passion, that desire forward into the season ahead. So shift out of the mess and the clutter and the overwhelm, open up, find the balance for his balance with that fire that is in you coming forward into this new season. So as we go to shape shift, as we go to move some energy and notice the energy going forward, reversing, going out, that's what we're gonna feel like, a little push pull, ground, center. Know the power is within you. Use the strength of your heart. Drop out of the mind, into the heart. Open up through your heart, shine your light. Just breathe in and exhale out. I shine my light with courage to step forward onto my path. I'm the magician. Again, don't give your power away. You are the magician. You create the abundance, the manifesting in your life. Rethink, reevaluate. What is it you do want to manifest and grow as you finish out the summer season? And the last is setting the stage. Declutter, clean up, get everything ready, have a party, show your passion, bring this energy forward as we transition and move through and shift the energy of summer. Let me know how that resonates with you. Take some time this week, the next week, as we move through the Mercury retrograde, several planets, like I said, will be in retrograde. We'll see Venus and Mars go a little forward. They'll be doing their own little dance, but you may feel a little push and pull, fast, slow, slow down fast, right? That's kind of be what you're, that's kind of going to be what you're going to feel, but notice what it is for you and the best thing to do Slow down, ground, do some breathing, do some extra meditation as you start to shift all this energy moving through this week. Check out the Empowered Spirit Show. Great guests, great conversation. Have a great week. To your spirit. Namaste.